Hi, it's Audrey Mack from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and today we're making a main dish with a new Philadelphia cooking cream. Today, I'm going to make chicken and waffles. And you might say, well, how is she going to use cooking cream in chicken and waffles? And I decided to do this because so often on the Food Network and with Paula, chicken and waffles is a waffle with a piece of fried chicken on the top. Well, in Lancaster County, I know, that is not chicken and waffles. Many firehouses around here will have a chicken and waffle supper uh, to make money for their firehouse. And I'm going to show you how we in Lancaster County have chicken and waffles. All right, we're going to start to make our waffle batter. And it starts with a cup of the cooking cream, which is just about a whole container, and I don't think it would hurt to use the whole container if you wanted to. But we're going to use exactly a cup in this recipe. Oh, that's my waffle iron telling me it's ready as soon as these are. All right, we have two egg yolks that we're putting in this batter. I separated the eggs ahead of time. And we will put that with our dry ingredients as soon as we whip up our egg whites. We're going to whip up the egg whites first. That way our beaters don't have to be cleaned. This won't take too long. This makes the waffles nice and fluffy because you have the air in the egg whites to fold in when the other batter is done. Alright, just as fast as that, we have a nice clean bowl that has no grease in it and the beaters don't have any grease on them so they whip up really fast. Alright, now we can go into the next part of our batter here. And let's whip this up. We also, in this recipe, are going to put in a cup of water. A great recipe for if you don't have milk in the house that day. So it's a cup of water, a cup of the cooking cream, and two egg yolks. Let's mix this up. Quick and easy as that. Now to this we're putting in two cups of all-purpose flour. We're putting in a teaspoon of baking Pow soda and two teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt into our dry ingredients. And we're going to mix them. This makes a thick batter, but it makes fluffy things our waffles. All right, now all we need to do is we're going to fold in these egg whites that we whipped up. This is more of a savory waffle because we don't want vanilla in it. We're not going to have it for breakfast. Maybe for breakfast we'd put vanilla in this. But we don't need that in these to go with our chicken and waffle dinner. Chicken and waffle dinners, as I said, are a big firehouse favorite to make money and I just this morning saw a sign that they're on Saturday night a chicken and waffle dinner. You know exactly what you're going to get at a waffle, a chicken and waffle dinner and I'm going to show you that in a bit. Now it's time for us to to bake our waffle. And our waffle iron's nice and hot. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray, make sure nothing sticks and put a good heaping half cup of waffle batter into our waffle iron. And you'll know when this is done because it's going to beep at us again. So we'll just let that go. Now, let me talk to you about the chicken of chicken and waffles. We do not use a piece of fried chicken. The first time I saw that I thought, a piece of chicken on a waffle? That's not chicken and waffles. That's just how we do things different in different areas of the country. So, what I talk about with chicken and waffles is chicken gravy with 
chicken all through it. Now what I do is I put a whole chicken in the crock pot and let it go. I don't have to be around the house. I could be at work. I could be at the gym. I could do whatever I want to and that chicken is cooking. And when I get home I can let it cool. I have great chicken broth and I have the chicken all ready to make whatever dish I want to do. So I had a whole chicken like that and with the broth and some chicken uh, broth from a box I made about eight cups of gravy and there's about six cups of the chicken. And this of course can be for your size of family. If you just have the two of you, if I was just cooking for my husband and I, I might make just a chicken breast if I wanted to do this. Or if I had chicken gravy left over from a meal, I could make chicken and waffles. So this is what we call chicken and waffles. It has to have gravy on it with chicken in it. No bones, no nothing. This is carefully picked chicken so that we have uh, we can just dig in and believe me at these firehouse dinners they're always served at um, family style and when people have that bowl set in front of them they dive in. We have some farmers around that will really eat up uh, at a chicken and waffle dinner and they're always all you can eat. You know what? I forgot something in my batter a little something and it's just one quarter teaspoon of white vinegar and I'm just going to add that in now because I just remember that I forgot it. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference uh, in this waffle that I already have in the waffle iron. Okay, how's our waffle iron doing? Well, you often you see steam right before it's going to come. Uh, while we're waiting for that to get done and we hear the little birdie sing and tell us that it's ready to go, this waffle iron I've had for probably 25 years. My mother-in-law bought it for me and she just thought it was just adorable and I love it too because it makes four little hearts and you can divide them up if you want to and uh, have four little hearts and it's fun. I've often made chocolate waffles in there and it's like a brownie with ice cream. Uh, nothing like a homemade waffle. So that's what we're having tonight with our chicken and waffles. And as soon as that beep, we'll plate it up. When you have chicken and waffles, you know that you're going to have three side dishes with chicken and waffles in Lancaster County. You're going to have green peas. You're going to have applesauce, homemade. And you're going to have pepper, cabbage, or coleslaw. You just have to. You can have chicken and waffles without those three sides. No way, no how, don't even try. And surely, don't put a piece of fried chicken on top of a dry waffle. It just isn't chicken and waffles. I'm just kidding. I'm sure that I would enjoy it. It's going to go. There we go. Our waffle's ready. Let me plate this up. There's our beautiful waffle that has cooking cream in it. Just makes it fluffy and flavorful. A great way to have your chicken and waffles. Now when you have chicken and waffles, yes, you put the gravy on top there. Heaven forbid you don't have enough of gravy. You always have your peas to the side. You always have your pepper slaw or, or coleslaw on the side. And you always have applesauce. And there you go. There is chicken and waffles. A waffle made with Philly cooking cream, the original flavor, with peas, coleslaw, and applesauce. A great meal and my family can hardly wait to eat. I have my children here, my mother-in-law, and we're going to have a good meal eating Lancaster County chicken and waffles. Bye!